If you ever spend any time on the uh, popular photo sharing site app Instagram, you've probably seen a lot of really mediocre food photographs. It's kind of a craze right now to be like, hey, I'm having a pizza bagel. Let me take a picture and send it to everybody I know. And that's great. You know, there's a time and place for that. But there's also something to be said for really good food photography. One of our sister publications at Popular Photography is a magazine called Savor, uh, which is a food photography magazine. And just talking with them and looking through their images, I've come up with a couple really basic ways to ensure you're going to get great food photographs, even if they're just going on Instagram. One thing to take into account, as with any photographic subject, is your light source. A really easy way to get a great food photograph is to bring the plate or the dish or whatever over to maybe a window, um, you know, a, a fixed light source, whatever it might be, uh, and use that to your advantage. A lot of people like to shoot straight down and just have the full plate, and that's okay, but a lot of times if you get a little bit closer uh, and you abstract areas of the photograph, it just makes for a better, more appetizing looking image. Take into account the different colors in the foods, on the plate, the texture, uh, and just focus on something that's really gonna make it look appetizing. I like to personally vary my aperture and get a shallow depth of field. So let's say I'm taking a picture of a piece of chicken with some broccoli rob and potatoes. Maybe I'll focus in on the chicken and kind of abstract and throw out of focus the other things. And it just makes for you know a really delicious fo food photo. So if you are gonna do this and post it to Instagram, I'm not gonna judge you or anything, but uh, do yourself a favor and do everybody else a favor. Make it look good.